Mataji, 8.25, we will start. Okay. Three minutes, Mataji, okay? Yes, yes, Mataji. Am I audible? Yes, Mataji. Okay. Yes, Mataji. So we can start. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yes. I should we start or will we? Yes, I think I think we can start, right? Okay, so Hare Krishna, everyone. Thank you all so much for coming today again. So we are continuing our series of Isha Upanishad. In the question, you heard the invocation of Isha Upanishad. So we in the first verse of Isha Upanishad. And we have Her Grace Lalitangi Radha Mataji, everyone's favorite. The Mataji Yes, thank you so much, Mataji. Am I audible? Ah, uh, yes, Mataji. Okay. So, uh, thank you for the organizers to giving me this opportunity. It's a very uh, wonderful thing to read uh, uh, Srila Prabhupada's books and especially his glorious purports. Uh, <clears throat> so, we can discuss something. So, this class will be mostly interactive session. So we have a group activity also at the end. Um, so uh, you can all unmute and share your uh, realizations uh, whenever it is requested. So maybe let's start with prayers. Om Ajnana Timirandasya Jnana Jana Shalakaya Chakshurum Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha I was born in the darkest uh, ignorance and my spiritual master opened my eyes with a torch of knowledge. I offer my respectful obeisances unto him. <laughs> Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swamin Nitina Mine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravati Pracharine Nirvisesha Shunyavadi Paschatya Deshatarine. I offer my respectful obeisances unto His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, who is very dear to Lord Krishna, as Krishna Prashtaya, having taken shelter at His lotus feet. <clears throat> Vishnu Padaya, our respectful obeisances are unto you, O spiritual master. Servant of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami, Saraswati Deve, you are kindly preaching the message of Lord Chaitanya Deva, Gauravani Pracharine, and delivering the Western countries, that is Paschatya Desha Tarine, which are filled with impersonalism and voidism, that is Nirvisesha and Shunyavati. <laughs> Yeah, we will also uh, pray to the Acharyas and um, the Vaishnavas. Vande Ham Sri Guru Sri Yutapada Kamalam Sri Guru Vaishnavamscha. 
ಶ್ರೀ ರೂಪಂ ಸಾಗ್ರ ಜಾತ ಸಹ ಗಣ ರಘುನಾಥಾನ್ವಿತ ತಂ ಸ ಜೀವ ಸಾಧ್ವೈತ ಸಾವಧೂತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ದೇವ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಾದ ಸಹ ಗಣ ಲಲಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶಾಖಾನ್ವಿತ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರುಣಾ ಸಿಂಧೋ ದೀನಬಂಧು ಜಗತ್ಪತೆ ಗೋಪೇಶ ಗೋಪಿಕಾ ಕಾಂತ ರಾಧಾ ಕಾಂತ ನಮೋಸ್ತುತೆ ತಪ್ತ ಕಾಂಚನ ಗೌರಾಂಗಿ ರಾಧೆ ಬೃಂದಾವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ವೃಷಭಾನುಸುತೆ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣಮಾಮಿ ಹರಿಪ್ರಿಯೆ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರೂಪ್ಯ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧೋಪ್ಯೇವ ಪತಿತ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಆ ನಮೋ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪಾದಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಷ್ಠಾಯ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಿ ನಾಮಿನೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸಾರಸ್ವತೆ ದೇವೆ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ದೇಶ ತಾರಿಣೆ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸಾದಿ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ಬೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿ ಹರ್ಡ್ ದ ಬ್ರಿಲಿಯಂಟ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಬೈ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ನಿ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಆನ್ ಈಸೋಪನಿಷ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಯುನೀಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅನ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಬುಕ್ by Srila Prabhupada, as Mataji explained that Shruti, Smriti and Nyaya. So someone may say that Srimad Bhagavatam is, is a Purana and uh, Srimad Bhagavad Gita is part of the Itihasa, that is Mahabharat. Is there any uh, evidence uh, from the Vedas or close to the Vedas? That is, uh, then we have this uh, Upanishad, uh, Esa Upanishad. So, Isha, Isha Upanishad. So, the questions and answers are regarding the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The truth of the Supreme Personality of Godhead is Isha Upanishad. And that way, this is a, a very important and a unique uh, book in our uh, ISKCON movement. And also, it was uh, written uh, quite early by Srila Prabhupada. And uh, generally, it's very important. Uh, this commentary is very important because this Upanishad is generally, we can see that read by uh, many of the uh, spiritual seekers who are following the other uh, paths as well, like impersonalists or um, Ashtanga yogis and others. So, um they have a uh, big commentaries on this and explanations on this to prove that how the ultimate feature of the lord is impersonal but shila prabhupada's contribution is unique contribution is that from is always as it is so as bhagavad gita is as it is this is isopanishad as it is so brilliantly the word by word translation uh transliteration translation and the purpose everything culminate uh, to give the reader the absolute uh, truth everything about the absolute truth without any possible loopholes of misunderstanding that krishna is a supreme personality of godhead and his bhagavan or sachitananda form is the ultimate so very beautifully uh, he has commented it's you know it's a very small book and purports are like themselves vedanta sutras we can say each and every line has uh, so many uh, volumes to say uh, behind each and every line so that's the uh, that's how this book is unique and uh, you know before reading this book many for many days after coming in touch with uh, iskon uh, i was intimidated about this book when i see the cover only the vishnu looking scaringly at you and then uh, what is this is upanishad it's not going to be having any stories like shrimad bhagavatam or krishna book but uh, if we the, it has uh, details about the greatness of the lord so 
द ग्रेटनेस ऑफ द लॉर्ड मेक्स हिज स्वीटनेस स्वीट फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू नो इफ a bride groom is going to be selected for the bride then the family sees all the statistics first so you know where is the bride groom from what is his family uh, and how much is he earning how much assets he has and uh, what are his qualities all statistics first uh, then what is his uh, you know uh, mental situation from the horoscope and then Uh, the deal is uh, done if all this is are satisfied so our goal in life is uh, not only to worship the lord in awe and reverence but actually to rise up to uh, unconditional love of the supreme personality of godhead so <clears throat> for that this is a very very important uh, aspect of knowledge to know how great he is so a bhakta who's uh, who's on the path of loving the supreme lord will see this uh, iso panishad with the eyes of anointed with love the same way as we see shrimad bhagavatam and krishna book because the greatness is what is first makes us uh, fix it in our worship so you know we want to make friendship with krishna but uh, if our friend is like a pauper and he is good for nothing then what is the glory in that friendship but if we have a friendship with a president or someone so influential then that makes sense so how the lord is supreme in all aspects and he is perfectly intelligent and each and every quality of him is completely enumerated it is so wonderful to just uh, read that and uh, it increases our love towards the lord and our faith in the lord so this is the first verse let's see the verse and the word by word translation isha vasyam idam sarvam yat kincha jagat yam jagat tena tyaktena bunjita magrida kasya swidhanam isha by the lord avasyam control idam this sarvam all so what is control all is controlled by the lord isha yat kincha whatever jagatyam we see within the universe jagat all that is animate or inanimate all that is animatedly moving that means which has a living force combination of spirit and matter or which is just matter so it is all controlled by the supreme lord tena tyaktena bunjita by him bunjita uh, there is a kota that is set apart that is tyaktena bunjita it is uh, in the second person uh, like you should do it's a imperative command so you should accept so whatever is set aside by him as a quota you should accept and uh, this is a positive thing and what is a negative ma grida kasya swidhanam ma is do not ma suchaha don't doubt me so ma is do not grida ha endeavor to gain kasya swid of anyone else dhanam the wealth don't endeavor to gain anyone else's wealth so this is the first verse so the first two lines speaks about the supreme lord uh, in unmincing words that we are not the controller but he is the controller and what are we we can cooperate with him and we are supposed to take what it is set aside for us and what we are not supposed to do is that uh, accept other things that is not belonging to us uh, because we know whom they belong to i mean this is a very wonderful verse first uh, verse itself putting everything in place what is krishna's position what is our position so let's read the translation everything animate or inanimate that is within the universe is controlled and owned by the lord 
one should therefore accept only those things necessary for himself which are set aside as his quota and one must not accept other things knowing well to whom they belong so beautiful <laughs> translation so this is just a summary of the verse of the uh, with the purport so the first two lines talk about the proprietorship of the lord and that is krishna as the proprietor and the second two lines says what is the living entity's role so how is krishna the proprietor and what is said about him being the proprietor and who says it that krishna is the proprietor those are the three divisions of the knowledge that is covered in the purport and living entity's role is that he is definitely not a proprietor but if he think to be a proprietor what are the um, reactions for it and uh, if he claims to be the proprietor uh, what 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 will be the situation but that is covered here and then acting on this role so living entity is understanding the role recognizing where he belong to and doing activities based on that recognition and finally the purpose is to go back to god him <laughs> so a uh, further subdivision is that in krishna's proprietor uh, who is saying that krishna is a proprietor so prabhupad starts with vedas the vedas are saying that krishna is a proprietor and uh, uh, the vedas are apaurusheya so apaurusheya purusha means a person and generally here purusha means a person of this world so apaurusheya means anybody can say what is it हरे कृष्ण माता जी हरे कृष्ण ज्योति माता जी एंड विद प्रणाम जय श्री ला प्रभु पद अपौरुषेय मींस नथिंग दैट इज ह्यूमनली पॉसिबल राइट वेरी नाइस माता जी इट्स नॉट फ्रॉम अ ह्यूमन सोर्स राइट सो दैट इज अपौरुषेय एंड वी विल सी अबाउट द फोर डिफेक्ट्स व्हाट व्हाई व्हाई हाउ इज दिस द नॉलेज ऑफ ईसोपनिषद डिफरेंट फ्रॉम एनी अदर बुक्स रिटन बाय Uh, other human beings so that is covered and also where it was revealed this knowledge of vedic knowledge was revealed to the heart of brahma so and with regarding to krishna's nature uh, as a proprietor he is not controlled by the material nature he is a controller that is covered and the textual evidence from bhagavad gita is also given in that and then how we see the proprietor because uh, the he is never defeated or tricked or you know overcome by uh, by any other uh, great demigod or controllers we can never see this in the history so and then what are his opulences as a proprietor so we will see all this then acting on the part of the living entity that he is not a proprietor and if he claims that he is a proprietor then there is no peace why because it's like each and every living entity claiming that they are proprietors and then they are it's like the what is that called the car that goes and collide with each other and it is uh, connected to one uh, rope a uh, one uh, uh, you know the thing on the top uh, when we go to the kids playing thing we see that they actually huge cars with tires and the kids sit in that uh, but they just move and then they bump to each other bumper cars yeah bumper cars yes mata ji yeah so it's a big thing right to i mean the, for kids it is so fun so it's like that uh, when we claim that we are a proprietor and there are bunch of people who are claiming the proprietors we are like individual bumper cars who are colliding with other people's interests so that causes violent reactions and sin and we will be liable to punishment so why we should not claim because we know our position i mean 
put in place perfectly and what is our responsibility that also is discussed just it's just a three page purport but each line uh, you know prabhupad brings out such a logical conclusion that uh, at the end one is uh, completely as as the first uh, uh, verse goes completely satisfied that there is nothing else that we need to know about the supreme lord uh, if we learn this iso upanishad so when the living entity is acting on this role that is recognizing that his role as a part and parcel and offering uh, whatever he is supposed to do that is abhideya and prayojana is that becoming eligible to go back to godhead so here we are all thieves but then uh, if we are the, that there's a group of thieves and if the group of thieves are uh, you know stealing from one another it's a very messy situation at least they have to be honesty uh, honest among themselves so although all of us are thieves in the sense that we are trying to take krishna's property and trying to enjoy it for our own sense gratification um, remove it trying to remove krishna from the picture so we are thieves but there has to be some honesty among the ourselves and that is achieved by understanding this iso upanishad very perfectly so so what is so perfect in this uh, uh, what is the knowledge i mean uh, given in this iso upanishad different from anybody else as we discussed that this is not delivered by any mundane person so here we are going to do a, a simple group discussion and many people many of you would know this uh, that what are the four imperfections that a created living being has especially the human being if you are not sure you can refer the purport of iso upanishad also in the first paragraph so what we are going to do is we are going to uh, take uh, from you what are the four imperfections and if you have any experience of uh, experiencing that imperfection committing mistakes mataji yes mataji wonderful yeah so we lot. commit yeah we do commit lot of mistakes mataji i i just wanted to say you are telling personal experience right yes yes so please share mataji you, yeah we do commit lot of mistakes knowingly and unknowingly yeah mistakes are many mataji yeah right 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 and also we know that it's mistakes and we are not able to stop ourselves maybe we may do new new mistakes but sometimes we also repeat the old mistakes again and again uh, that's very true we commit mistakes anybody else wants to add your uh, experience of uh, how you have committed mistakes or have you come across anyone who has who says that i have never committed any mistake so far um, mataji first of all i haven't even come across a person who says whether they have committed their mistakes or not <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> thank I mean, you uh, i mean outside is gone right right very true yeah and have you come across any incident where krishna has committed a mistake no mata ji he does everything perfectly okay that's good okay mata ji krishna also got bewildered when uh, he saw shalva have uh, vasudeva's head exactly yeah so uh how to deal with that and what does the acharya say in that uh, instance um leela <laughs> right <clears throat> because uh, krishna's uh, momentary uh, grief on seeing vasudeva's head cut and same way rama's momentary grief on seeing uh, sita beheaded the illusory sita beheaded in front of him so see in all the krishna leela we can find one or two places like this where he has uh, uh 
uh, he seemingly is bewildered like that and the acharya say that that is his opulence to show his attachment towards his devotees yeah. even being um, framed in the uh, in the shamantakamani case uh, where he was framed uh, yeah as the thief oh, like that. right right so at that time uh, he proved uh, right so he was not uh, the thief but he also has to take that infamy i mean he being the supreme lord and he had to take the blame that he took away the jewel and it was like a rumor hush 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 everybody talking and it was a rumor and finally he had to hear that also so what uh, lesson can we learn from this anybody can put in any any condition uh, the thing is we have to prove ourselves and and also in this material world uh, in every time is a problem it's not it's not a safest place so, so even krishna himself has shown that and he showed how to solve that we should not get agitated we should try to prove ourselves if we are true it it will come truth will come out one day no need to get worry about it wonderful mother ji wonderful realization that's true yeah <clears throat> so anybody can get framed any time anywhere it's only a surprise if someone was not talked about no rumor about someone that means it's a great surprise um thank you mother ji so we discussed the first imperfection uh, that we commit mistakes and can we uh, bring out the other three illusion yes uh illusion we are we have a tendency <clears throat> to commit mistakes and we are illusion so illusion in the sense uh there is reality and there is illusion illusion means something that which is not present we take that to be true we take re, we, we tend to reject the reality and take the unreality to be true that is being illusion so anyone has any experience of this mother you like in hot summer uh, we see that um, uh, like mirage. Um, mirage yeah we, we, even though there is no water but we feel that there is a water so that is a illusion only oh, wonderful prabhu wonderful thank you so much yes so <clears throat> so we are uh, even um uh, even in our daily life we can see that we sometimes or most of most times we take this something that is not reality we take that to be true and like mirage like i mean seeing is believing right when you see when you are driving especially on the hot summer on the roads your eyes unmistakably see water right and you see that there is water but there is no water uh yeah so we have the tendency to be illusion and the next two to be cheated get cheated yes. or others yeah we have uh, the tendency to be cheated and we also have cheating propensity is there any example of personal experience anybody wants to share to show that we have cheating propensity it is something is you know if we if we say that we have uh, we commit mistakes that everyone will agree and uh, we have uh, i mean we take illusion to be reality that also you know it's agreeable but we have a cheating propensity and uh, that's little wow is that so like that sometimes we overstate our capabilities and forget wonderful mata ji you put very very nicely right that's very true and yes, it, yeah, it is like more of like you know you i am god and i can give you this i can give you that um i don't know many of them might be there in the such kind of situation one day uh, and thinking that they will help us i was also you know uh, happened to be in such situations uh, where you know they will right? where they will help me um you know my parents and my grandparents took me there when i was sick 
but right now when i read shila prapad pop but i could re- i could understand that this is all cheating propensity uh, that is what i just wanted to share mata ji hari bol wonderful mata ji wonderful like uh, you know we tend to overstate our capabilities or show that as though we know more i mean this is um, a truth that that is present uh, everywhere right in all of us in many situations we tend to do that thank you mata ji okay share market so... share market also <laughs> like uh, always up and down and cheating each other yeah. <laughs> very true prabhu very true yeah kali is uh, full fledged present in the share market and uh, you know it thrives only on how best cheaters uh, one person is he wins and also how swiftly he is teaching before uh, sorry he is uh, cheating before the others a uh, wonderful example okay so we did uh, we commit mistakes and uh, we are illusion and we have cheating propensity and the last one imperfect senses yeah imperfect senses so uh like to just uh, give a little like thing of it so you see something your eyes see something but your uh, you know mind or brain registered it as something else so anybody can share any experience how our senses are imperfect mataji like a pilot is uh, drive, means uh, he is uh, flying a um a flight but uh, like he is fully dependent on the instruments so whatever right. instruments are sensing he goes as per that but if by mistake if he uses his intelligence then he may land up with a problem so right. i thought that is one example yeah. wonderful example prabhu ji wonderful example yeah so recently you know we were going to i'll share this experience hari parsha prabhu's uh, program here for bhagavatam class on saturday at 8:30 uh, there was a flyer and i had just uh, rounded in a marker uh, that which address we have to go and then so it was like 40 and then some streets name so we went and then we kept ringing the bell one time two time three times four times five times and finally that uh, there was a voice that came from the uh, system that what you guys are up to why are you waking me up this early in the morning so we were ringing the bell thinking that maybe there is kirtan going on inside and they didn't hear us ringing the bell and uh, and then when we heard the sound then we thought oh my god okay we are, i'm so sorry and he was so upset that you are waking me up early in the morning on a week day what, what what makes you come and ring my bell like this and then i looked again in the flyer i had made it as 40 but actually because i had rounded it that 46 on top of that uh, that marker line had gone and i didn't see properly that it was 46 and not 40 so uh, i mean i could i could see only 40 and i thought that for sure it is 40 only and i kept ringing the bell until i had this so we can see that how you know our senses are so imperfect uh, even in this uh, daily uh, situation so one exercise is to introspect and see that how uh, these four are there in us and so whatever we produce the books it cannot be perfect because we have these four imperfections and the books also will carry the same so i can only talk up what i see and what i see is imperfect and what i write is also imperfect but vedas are not produced by such an imperfect person that is why this knowledge in isopanishad is a rare commodity it's like a rare jewel it is out of this world there may be hundreds of libraries carrying millions of books but all of them stand in one stage uh, one side of the uh, thing uh, saying that all are produced by people who are imperfect but then if you keep the small book on the other side 
this goes up in the scale because this is produced by not by an imperfect person and so every line of this is very important it's a big treasure for us we are all imperfect here and um, akshara we are fallible but to people who are fallible we are getting access to this infallible knowledge so that is the glory of the lord and his uh, devotees so we can see how isha vashyam everything in this world is belonging to the supreme lord so i recently heard in a lecture that uh, one uh, very uh, uh, reputed disciple of shila prabhupad so he was telling this he was distributing book and uh, when he was distributing books uh, somebody asked okay so you are all from iskon and you say krishna is a supreme person supreme lord right uh, he says that uh, yeah we say that Uh, no half according to me shiva is a supreme lord so i don't i will not take your book so then he said okay we are telling krishna as a supreme personality of god because we are not telling on our own but krishna is telling that he is a supreme personality of god and we are just repeating that from bhagavad gita tell me where shiva is telling that i am the supreme lord in bhagavad gita bhagavan uvacha and krishna clearly says aham sarvasya prabhavo mattah sarvam pravartate on i uh, i am the master of uh, the spiritual and the material worlds and everything emanates from me and same way we have rudra gita where is rudra gita anybody knows shrimad bhagavatam yes mata ji kartika mata ji yes shrimat bhagavatam and what is lord shiva saying in that he glorifies lord krishna only yes he glorifies lord krishna with chosen poetry and he says namo aniruddhaya pradyumnaya i am the, the my worshipable lord is sankarshana and i am the servant of his devotees and all these things he is saying to prachetas and then he said that this is what we heard from brahma and i am repeating the same thing to you so you take this mantra and perfect your life by doing meditation on this so rudra gita shiva is accepting that his lord is sankarshana so that way then that person said okay he has nothing to say he he couldn't prove of course lord shiva and mother parvati are having so much portfolio in the universe but there no devata anywhere even in brahma samhita brahma who is the creator of everybody is claiming that i am the supreme lord of all that is so krishna says in the seventh chapter fourth verse and the fifth verse anyone knows to recite that verse so in these two verses he says how the material energy is dependent on him and the spiritual energy is also dependent on him भूमिरापो नलवायु कमनो बुद्धि वचां ताराय पियम मे बिना प्रकृति दष्टदा अपरेयम मितस्वन्यम प्रकृतिम विद्धि मे परम जीवभूता महाबाहो एदम दार्यते जगत परफेक्ट माता जी वी आर मिसिंग बाल वृंदा ओके सो या सो भूमि आपो अनलो वायु kam mano buddhir earth water fire air ether mind intelligence and false ego all this is material energy separated material energy my binna prakritir ashtada and then apart from this there is a superior energy of mind which are all the living entities and prakritim vidhime param jeeva bhutam mahabaho yeyedam daryate jagat they are exploiting the material energy and they are struggling also because they are exploiting they are struggling within the material energy so any anybody one more shloka from bhagavad gita where krishna says he is a supreme lord sir 18.66 mandir yes. hey, sarva dharman paritajya mam ekam charanam yes prabhu ji uh, you want to complete that 
या सर्व धर्मान परित्याज माम एकम शरण भज अहम तम सर्व पापे भय मोक्षिष्यामि मासु च हा थैंक यू प्रभु सो हियर ही सेस माम एकम शरणम व्रज डोंट सरेंडर टू मी and then if i don't give you something don't go somebody else somebody else somebody else no ma ekam and don't doubt that i will deliver you unless he's a supreme lord how he can make a promise and we, he knows that in spite of all the seven hundred verses we will doubt him and that's why he saying ma suchaha so we are clear about this concept that how krishna is completely perfect he is doesn't have the four imperfections like that we have and he has perfect intelligence to adjust everything by means of his different potencies like mata ji explained last week how the material universe which came from him is a complete unit how he is be, it's being created and annihilated and the time and everything is perfectly running it's a separated material energy but everything is perfectly running so any example of how krishna uh, used his perfect intelligence from anywhere in the scriptures so many right if you take mahabharat or shrimad bhagavatam duryodhan came to sahadeva and asked sahadeva is such a neutral person and he is a very good astrologer and he went and asked him tell me the time the good muhurta that i can start this war so that i will win and krishna has to uh, deal with that and throughout every single time uh you know the pandavas were outwitted they were almost killed but krishna used his perfect intelligence to adjust everything killing of karna jayadratha shalva bhishma drona and then if you see in shrimad bhagavatam uh, many many people try to uh, outwit or bewilder the lord right was it possible at any point of time Uh, was he was he overcome except by his devotees yeah only one person where only one place where he was defeated was that we glorify in the kartik month yashor mataji yeah yashoda and krishna and he is also called ranchor because he didn't want to although he knew that people will call him ranchor he didn't want to fight because he knew that jarasandha had to be killed by bhima later on and that also shows his perfect intelligence see every time 17 times jarasandha came and he not even one person survived so what is he for him to uh, kill jarasandha also is it difficult no but he let him alive every single time right because he knows how he was born jarasandha is his uncle's father in law so his uncle is kamsa and kamsa's father in law and when was he born much 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 before than him but when bhima couldn't uh, kill him krishna had to give him the thing that you know this is how he ha- he needs to be killed because he was born by the uniting uh, by the divanas jara so how he knew that right so yeah so many uh, you know instances like this but when we understand this concepts and then when we read the past times then we can put everything in place that my dear supreme lord who is my dear venerator and he is always in my heart is he has perfect intelligence so that way our uh, devotion towards the lord is enriched yeah so we know that how then uh, so now the first two lines of position of the lord is perfectly explained and after that what is our thing as a living entity we are supposed to accept our quota and not encroach upon others knowing well that even what we claim as ours belongs to the 
Lord. So here Prabhupada is giving an example that cow doesn't drink the milk. Cow is eating grass and straw, and cow's milk is give is cow is giving milk to sustain the human beings, not only the calf, right? So similarly, all the uh, animals and insects and all the lower uh, species are perfectly following their order. So can you tell more examples like this, like how cow eats grass but produces milk? that enriches human beings. Can you be? Sorry? Bees uh, take uh, pull, uh, the juice from the flowers and they make honey. Right, Mataji. Very good example, right? They go, if you see how small, tiny drop, and B is supposed to be working so hard, right? It buses around and take the droplets of the drop from the thing and it doesn't enjoy. <laughs> yeah. So what does a human being give back? Pollution. <laughs> right. Pollution and exploitative mentality. Yes, Vinita Mataji? Three Mataji, three. Tree. Ah, tree. Yeah. One wonderful example, right? Tree is taking water and then it is giving fruits. Tree is not eating the fruits. Tree is giving its own wood to a person to cut, cut uh, the tree also. So that's another aspect. So we can see that every living entity is living for the other living entities, uh, uh, you know, uh, healthy living. But what does a human being contribute? So human being with this higher intelligence is supposed to understand that who is the supreme proprietor and give that, uh, you can't give that knowledge to the living beings, but you can benefit them like uh, by uh, giving some prasadam. And it is said that if a devotee, if a human being is a devotee and he is uh, eating in the consciousness of a devotee and when he washes his hands, and then it falls on the grass. And if some insects come and drink the water, the insects doesn't need to go through all the evolutionary cycles, but gets a human birth in the next life. So if we uh, take a flower from a plant and offer it to the Lord, then we can benefit the other living entities by somehow using their capacity in the devotional service of the Lord. And they go up in the evolutionary cycle very soon to get human birth in the next life. And why is human birth so special? Because you can inquire unto the Supreme. Yes, Mataji, you explained it so well last week. Because this is the only place where we can inquire into the Supreme Lord, where we can understand, Are, I don't want white hair, but I have to go to uh, the beauty parlor to color it. And every three weeks, it's coming and showing it's, itself out. So why am I? Why is this one-way traffic, birth, uh, disease, and old age, and death also, you cannot say now after old age. I mean, so we have to see why we are ragged like this, life after life after life. And because we can only think like that, this is the greatest opportunity. And if we miss this, then we don't know if we would get the opportunity again. So since Krishna is the proprietor, and if we use his things without giving anything in return, then Srila Prabhupada says that uh, we are a thief, not Srila Prabhupada. Krishna himself says, yo bungte stena eva saha. So um, there was a glass uh, uh, manufacturer and then uh, Prabhupada was telling that where do you get the raw materials to make the glass from the sand? And then he said, it's, so you're taking it from Krishna. And he says that, no, I'm also giving donation to Krishna, that uh, life member said. Then he said that, okay, you're a small thief. So Prabhupada made very clear of this because he's always in that consciousness that Krishna is the proprietor, I am the servant. And only when a person is in that consciousness, he can transfer the consciousness to others. So we can see that in the purports, in the conversations, in his uh, uh, you know, interactions with other people. And uh, we can see that how much quarrel is happening now 
and he's saying that if we quarrel like this, we take the resources of nature and we quarrel over it and finally we kill each other and what to say. So we are liable to be punished by the loss of nature. We are supposed to be having dominion over the other living entities so that we can engage ourselves and the other living entities in the devotional service of the Lord. But we spoil ourselves and we degrade ourselves. We are going into, you know, future punishment by not knowing what we are doing. That's what he says in the 16th chapter. By acting in the mode of ignorance, actions in the mode of ignorance brings foolishness and misery. So animal killing is also like that. When tiger kills a dog, a dog, a tiger kills a, a goat or a deer, it's not a sin because the, it's a tiger's uh, distinct food. And we may, uh, you know, get upset with the tiger, you know, killing the deer. But you can imagine if the deer wants to eat, the food is available everywhere. But if the tiger wants to eat, he needs to kill. And that's why the tiger is always hungry. Because he's always hungry, he uh, he's always, you know, killing. Because it's food he eats once in two, three days. Whenever he gets a chance to kill other animals. So tiger incurring, uh, the tiger doesn't incur sin. But if a man kills an animal for his uncontrolled taste buds, then he is breaking the laws of nature. And Prabhupada says, that, okay, Krishna is very merciful. You want to kill. Why are you suffering with a human form of life which is not conducive for killing? So I will give you a tiger body so you can kill the animals happy. So this is from a lecture of Srila Prabhupada. And so he concludes by saying that human life is a life of responsibility. Every minute or minute, not even minute, broken down into many parts of the second, we are watched. In the daytime, we are watched by the day devata. In the nighttime, we are watched by the moon and then the ten directions. Then uh, the air, the space, there are all these things. We don't see them, but they're all recording. What this living entity is thinking, is doing, everything is being recorded. And then, you know, we have to pay for it. So someone may argue that vegetables also have life. Yes, vegetables also have life. And uh, so that's why, you know, we are grateful when we offer to the Lord that because of you, I am getting this vegetable to eat. Even though I rebelled against you and I came, you are so merciful that you are giving these grains and vegetables for me to eat. So actually it is yours. But uh, you are giving it to me, so kindly accept it. So when we acknowledge like that and uh, uh, give it to the Lord, then we complete the cycle. So we see the cycle of sacrifice also mentioned in the chapter 3. That how, uh, that if we don't, that uh, 3.13, anyone can say that shloka? Wow, we heard Balakrind also. Very good. <laughs> okay, yeah. So that is, in that uh, thing, clearly he's saying, if you see, if you read that verse from 3.4, 3.5, Krishna is saying why we have to offer. Because we, the devas are giving you all the natural resources without which you cannot eat. And if you eat without offering to them, you are thieves. So, offer, the, offer to the Lord. And then when we eat the food that is offered to the Lord, we are getting purified. And the vice versa. When we don't eat the food that is offered to the Lord, we are eating only sin. So, why sin? Because we have taken and we have not paid for it. So the method of paying, paying for it is yajna or uh, offering. So we also know that how, uh, you know, plants do not feel, plants do feel pain, but they have very less developed um, nervous system and they are supposed to be jivo, jivasya, jivanam. They are the uh, food for the human beings. And, uh, you know, uh, if slaughtering the animal, can we, if during the harvest time, all the school children will be taken on a trip 
to the fields and to see we celebrate right harvest is celebrated uh, makar sankranti as yes, pongal all this is harvest festival it is like killing the plants basically harvest is what the whole crop is killed for the green age but that is celebrated but is the slaughter house um, will would anyone take where the animals are killed no because that's that's not on supposed to do and prabhupad makes this argument that what is the teeth structure of a human being herbivore omnivore and carnivore uh, but it is so cruel that massive slaughter houses are maintained and that is, it produces so much of ugra karma so we all have to uh, have to take part in the reaction although we don't eat because if we are sitting quiet and not making any noise about it then you know we are also have to take part in that reaction so as a devotee as a you know understanding this of iso kanishad we can at least try to tell this aloud to whomever we can in that way we are doing our duty of protecting the animals and uh, voicing our uh, uh, um, voice against the atrocities and not keeping quiet and we can see there are so many examples of shri prabhupad how whether there was success or failure or even if he had one or eight temples even there was like 30 40 temples he was not satisfied he said he kept a pushing more 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 because he saw everything as belonging to the lord and he wanted to offer everything to the lord so when someone offers something to the lord then you know if it was in a bit, uh, then he was satisfied okay now i have done a little bit service to my guru maharaj even when he left he said that i only completed 50% of my work and 50% i have left for the society to do so every moment he exemplified this understanding of isha vashya principle so the conclusion is that uh, you know living according to what uh, the uh, prescribed laws of god is what we are supposed to do we are safe and we are protected in that sense but when we uh, disobey the laws of nature and the laws of the lord and we think of ourselves as the proprietor then you know we get into so much uh, unpleasant reactions and suffering so this is the process of understanding first understanding that the supreme personality of god is the proprietor and taking only that is set aside for our ourselves so now we will have three breakout rooms since time is up uh, the discussion time will be 7 minutes so there are 18 people right so we can do like six people in each group uh, so this is like a application part of this verse so group 1 will discuss uh, how much of your time energy talents and resources are you using for krishna's enjoyment now so we can think of this and uh, brainstorm ways to improve how we can improve because satatam kirtayam tomam that is the order uh, satatam kirtayam tomam always sing my glories so whether we have come up to that always point unless we have come up to that always point there is always scope for improvement so brainstorming ideas for improving you uh, our time energy talents and resources in using for krishna sanjanan that is group 1 and group 2 uh, consider one recent news item it could be from any country anywhere and uh we are reflecting on it are people treating the property of the world as their own or gods obviously we know what people are treating so if we apply the principle of isha vashan to that news item it can be anything that the group decides how does it change isha vashan in the sense everything in this world belongs to the supreme lord so what change uh, will this principle if it was applied to that news item would make a change in that so group 3 will discuss this how politics might be different in the world if world leaders accepted everything as the lord's property and they are just the caretakers engaging in his service like what ambarish maharaj jit lord rama himself you know he was the servant of his praja 
So discuss about the world politics, how it might change. Uh, so you will have seven minutes to discuss and then each group, uh, one person can, one devotee can speak representing the group. Their summary in one minute or maybe one and a half, two minutes. So Mataji, when you make the group, make, maybe I will copy paste this and put it in the chat also. Is that okay, uh, Vinita Mataji? Yeah, yes, Mataji, sure, Mataji. Every, everyone can also take a picture of it if possible. When you go to the breakout, you can discuss on that. I took the picture from my phone so that it is there with me. What do I have to speak? Yeah, I put it in the chat box as well. So I don't know if in the breakout rooms they can access, but I can go to each breakout room and put that. So now can we uh, divide into groups, Mataji? Yes, Mataji, give me one minute. Yeah. Yeah, three groups. Yeah, each room, five members. Uh, we host are not there in that. Two, you and me are not there, Mataji. Rest all there, five, five members in each group. I'm opening, please click on join. Sukha Mataji, you are not there in any group. Sukha Mataji, you said Sukha Mataji. Sorry, you said something. Mataji, Mataji. You, you, want to, you want to be in the group, Mataji? That's Sukha Mataji. Yeah, I didn't get any other invites, Vinita. Maybe because you joined a little late or you dropped out and joined again or something like that. So this is a group, right? Yeah, I'm putting you in the group one. Group one I'm putting, okay? Yeah, I could be here too, you know. I don't mind. Yeah, whichever group is good. Yeah, I put three groups. Three rooms. Yeah, which, yeah I could be here too. I mean, wait, whatever you say, I don't have a problem being on any one of the groups. Yeah. I sent you group one, Mataji. Please click on that. Yeah, I wanted to click, but it disappeared. I don't know what happened. Okay. Um, Shivani Mataji did not join. Yeah, I... It disappeared. I don't know why. I don't know if I'm having an issue with my... Okay. Shivani Mataji, I'm putting you in the group too. Please click on that. Mataji, you can, you can start going to other rooms and see. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I forgot so, to put one room here. I opened three rooms exactly. From next time, we will put one room in the main one. So I, I can only open two rooms. One is the main room. So still we have Priti Mataji here. Priti Mataji, would you like to go to any other room? Padma Mataji, you did not join in any room. Would you like to speak here? Yes, Mataji. Yeah, I will have to go. I went to one breakout room and I have to go to other breakout room. Yeah, I put group one, group two, group three names. Yeah, that's that's perfect. So, a uh, group two, how do I go to breakout room? Where do I see that? Mataji, here in the more options. Uh, yeah, yeah, I saw, I saw. Okay, I went to group two. So, let me go to group uh, two.
Yeah, very nice, Mataji. You uh, found out how to do the breakout rooms with timing and also um, did it very nicely. Thank you, Mataji. Yeah, we have one minute. They will come back. Yes, Mataji. This is what they I learned in the TTC course. I attended now. Yeah, very nice. So, yeah, everybody had to present like this and use this uh, skills. This is called group task. And uh, they are telling that everybody in ISKCON, they are encouraging them to use this uh, uh, these skills of group, uh, uh, assigning to groups and making them discuss and come back. Yes, Mataji, it helps because that's how they open up their heart and speak to each other. Right. Right. What they understood, yeah, it was very nice. Breakout rooms are closed. They'll be there in 60 seconds. Yeah. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Welcome back, uh, uh, dear devotees. I know the time must not be enough. Uh, I mean, next time I can plan to give more time for the breakout sessions. But so much nectar would have come from all of you and uh, discuss. So now we invite one spokesperson, one devotee from each group to uh, kind of summarize uh, what your group discussed. Basically, we could discuss only one question, Mataji, and two devotees were able to speak. Then I think the session ended. So I don't know if the other devotees would like to contribute who did not speak earlier or, um, I mean, whoever wants to can do it. Yeah, this is basically one group discusses one question. Oh, okay. So that's fine. Then we discussed the first, like two devotees, Vrinda Gopika Mataji and Amrita Mataji, uh, you know, shared very beautiful points. So maybe either of them can go or the listeners who are listening in can go to, if they want to share. Mataji, um, you go on behalf of all the Vaishnava, please. Please, Mataji, I'll be happy if, you know, the participants can No, Mataji, you, 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 you can share the point. Yeah, basically, um, both of the Matajis, they said that, uh, you know, uh, preach, or they spoke about preaching and uh, uh, Rinda Gopika Mataji said that we should, like, perhaps form small groups and study sessions to read more of Prabhupada's books and also engage in many different uh, um, a devotional service like that and uh, also um, I think Amrita Mataji also spoke on the same line as to how you know we interact more with devotees and engage in more services so that was kind of the gist of it Mataji please correct me if I said something wrong yeah, because my internet was going up and down so please correct me if I said something wrong thank you so much Hare Krishna Wonderful points, Mataji, is like, you know, dividing into small groups and reading more, doing more devotional service, engaging in more preaching. So these are all wonderful ideas uh, that we can brainstorm and fill the rest of the time that we are not uh, using in Krishna service now. Thank you so much. So from group two, anybody uh, who's going now? Hare Krishna, Mataji. Dhanod Pranam. Mataji, we have to choose our uh, topic is on Isa Vasham. So we choose uh, the recent uh, war which is happening between uh, Ukraine and Russia. So all the members, they have given their valid points. Like Mukund gave the points that um, he gave two words, wise and wise, V-I-C-E and uh, W-I-S-E. So... Uh, <clears throat> If they use their intelligence properly, then they can stop the war. But actually, everyone wants their land, their territory, and, and they are thinking of power, hunger for power. So that's why Lord Krishna is not in the center. So everyone is thinking they are the controller, they are the small lords. So all these problems, war and all is happening because of that. These are the some of the bullet points, Mataji. 
so Wonderful. once we keep god in the center then automatically the war can be stopped and everybody can be happy and blissful thank you much so much very very nice practical application of the sisa vashyam principle prabhuji that's very true thank you prabhu group 3 who is going from group 3 हरे कृष्णा माता जी हरे कृष्णा कार्तिक माता जी सो वी हैड आवर टॉपिक वाज हाउ पॉलिटिक्स वुड चेंज इफ द रूलर इज आई डोंट हैव द फुल क्वेश्चन आई थिंक द अदर माता जी हैड बट व्हाट वी डिस्कस वाज basically if the government or if the ruler is uh, if our king is a devotee then there is nothing better than that because we are going to be in the safe hands king is going to act like a instrument a servant of krishna there will be dharma right like now everywhere it's a dharma happening and it's not it's not good we are so in distress and then we had several points like uh, everyone would be treated equally like if some city is coming up it wouldn't be just a few people or the family members of the government getting the benefits it will be for the benefit of the citizens uh, like that many points had come and then we said that how democracy wouldn't be there it would be that we would be taken care by a king who would be the devotee of krishna and there'll be a lot of prosperity if there is anything that i'm missing i think my uh, geeta mata ji can add yeah these are the points krishna mata ji yeah you covered everything <laughs> thank you mata ji <laughs> thank you mata ji uh, thank you kartika mata ji wonderful summary right even to like as sukasagri mata ji itself like rama rajya it becomes it's like a hypothetical situation but even thinking that how uh, under one able government everyone will be treated equally everyone will be protected and given what they want this, this is what will happen if the world leaders are taking the sisa vashyam principle very nice thank you mata ji and devotees for the very valid points so uh, we might wonder that you know this is a hypothetical situation now but for kali it was the same uh, predicament that kali faced when he came in initially where from i will spread in this parikshit's kingdom it was like that then you know kali full fledged went inside and now it is exactly opposite to it but by krishna consciousness and by accepting this isa vashyam principle uh we can definitely uh, turn back the situation uh, because uh, krishna is the master of kali also so uh, i'll just summarize uh, what we uh, discussed so uh, this shloka has two parts one is krishna as the proprietor another is the living entity's role and veda declare that krishna is the proprietor and whatever krishna says uh, makes sense because it is uh, Uh, the knowledge of isa upanishad is not from an imperfect person uh, with four faults and uh, isa upanishad declares that krishna is the proprietor krishna himself says again and again in bhagavad gita in many different places and what is our rule uh, very uh, very surely we must agree that we are not a proprietor and um, if we don't do that then we have so much violent reactions and sin like what's going on in the world now uh but acting on this role and recognizing this uh, will save so much uh, slaughter to the animals slaughter to the ecological system and then we offer to the lord what belongs to him basically and then we can live happily here and also go back to godhead so thank you so much dear devotee so it was like a discussion and we heard from everyone uh, thank you so much for everyone's wonderful participation shila prabhupad ki jai Hare Krishna. I'm sorry, I went so much over time. Um, I'll work on it. So, if anybody has any questions, uh, quickly we can address that. Yeah. Nitya Narjima Prabhu raised his hand. Hare Krishna. What is it like in the beginning? You asked it. Uh, um like this four uh, defects are there is these things are there in the lord but actually 
in the propat purpose we see that uh, whatever this uh, cheating propensities are there with us this is originally is there in the lord also like stealing is not good but if you see in the damodar leela lord is stealing but that is transcendentally trans like uh, makkan chor we say that and we glorify him so whatever lord does that becomes a, that is transcendental but what we are imitating that is um, crime so and also like uh, in the bishma deva's case lord was supposed not to use the, any weapons but to protect the devotee yes uh, violated uh, so you said that uh, lord is um, not having this defects so would you kindly uh, what to say give the conclusion mataji yes prabhu ji as you yourself rightly said krishna leela is full of contradictions he is stealing butter he is dancing with gopis and parikshit is asking that you know you are calling yourself a avatar for re establishing dharma and what are you doing krishna dancing with other men's wives in the dead of the night exactly the same thing it's there in krishna book also three four pages of questions like this how can we understand this so krishna's past times are fully like this contradiction so that we are hooked on to that so only when there is a contradiction we hook on to that and we will see why it is like this so i heard an example in the class that there is a uh, uh, there is a speed limit right in the highways say 60 miles 80 miles per hour and if a car when we are going by 80 miles hour we will see we somebody will come and they will take like this all like a snake one person will go in the sports car fully 120 so to catch that 120 miles per hour fellow at the back again police will come so some somehow we have ways so the way says that the police is there so everyone will slow down if everyone is going in the speed that means there is police nearby so what the police had to do he need to go 140 miles to catch that 120 mile fellow and give him a ticket because if he is not given a ticket then everybody will go 120 miles so will the police is not breaking the rule there police is breaking the rule he is not following first of all but he doesn't need to follow the very fact that he is going at 140 proves that he is the police and he is beyond the laws so that's one point that i forgot to mention prabhu ji it is there in the thing so prabhupad also mentions um, i think in the 16th uh, chapter of bhagavad uh, no no third chapter of bhagavad gita uh, lord shiva drinks poison the whole of poison right and he can keep it in the thing but uh, people who are following lord shiva cannot as a smoke ganja telling that shiva took poison but i can also smoke ganja same way krishna danced with so many people but he expanded himself into each one and also they were all in their spiritual bodies and krishna was only at 8 7 years old there is no question of even material lust in a 7 year old boy and uh, the material bodies of the gopis were still lying down with their husbands so this is a dance uh, a spiritually of paramatma and atma the uh, union this is the basic union of uh, the lord and his devotees and in fact he is inviting everyone and giving everyone the opportunities we see that uh, you know if a person perfectly practices ekadashi then he is elevated to the position of being krishna's queen like that so krishna is having all positions in all uh, you know possible services open for us to come so this contradiction proves that he is beyond the laws he doesn't need to follow the laws but still at ma- majority of the places he follows the laws to set an example is Thank that okay and, yeah and ho- also he said that of gamblers uh, uh, i am of cheaters i am the i am gamble and in that purport in 10th chapter prabhupada says that krishna's uh, uh, you know sup- uh, supreme personality is not one sided it is all sided <laughs> so, nobody can cheat him but we trying to cheat is for our own uh, purposes but when krishna fails from his 
promise or his anything that that would be only to please his devotees so that is the sweetness of the lord so in that past times we can see the greatness but he is willing to renounce his greatness to please the devotees whether it's bhishma dev or arjuna or yashoda he can be bound up by yashoda he can become a sarathi to arjuna and he can lift weapons for uh, bhishma dev so like this so it is like a combination of both greatness and sweetness thank you very much matajin very nicely concluded yeah thank you yeah. thank you prabhu ji you yourself know the answer <laughs> but still yeah for everyone's benefit you're asking yeah. shri gauru uh, yeah hari krishna mataji mataji in one of the slides you mentioned that uh, if a, a tiger kills the animal and eats uh, he doesn't not, he does not commit sin right i right. think that's a based on the prakriti laws or what are the laws but if the if the human beings they eat the grains um that's actually that's as per the prakriti we eat that plants or, i mean vegetables or anything but uh, why we need i mean uh, i'm not saying why we need if we don't offer to god and eat then why we commit sin is that because of uh, we are born with a high intelligence or uh, what okay so i request you to go through the purpose of three point uh, i i don't have time otherwise i will yeah in bhagavad gita I also i think he mentioned yeah bhagavad gita please go through even the translations of three point um ಮಹಾಯಜ್ಞ ಪ್ರಜಾಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ಓಕೆ ಟೆನ್ ಇಲೆವೆನ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಟೆನ್ ಇಲೆವೆನ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಒನ್ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಥೀಮ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ದ ಡೆಮಿ ಗಾಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸಿಂಗ್ ದಮ್ ವಿತ್ ಯಜ್ಞಾಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ದ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಡೂ ಯಜ್ಞಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಡೆಮಿ ಗಾಡ್ಸ್ ವುಡ್ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ವಾಟ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಬೋತ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ and uh that's way, that way prosperity will reign why because the demigods are like uh, the departments like the government departments we take a uh, light right from so we have to pay the electricity bill we need to pay uh, home tax we need to pay water bill sewage bill if we don't pay that then they will cut off that so demigods are basically giving sunlight moonlight uh, uh the earth the air that we breathe we take everything for granted when we came out we first breathe the air what if that air is not there just because it is there it is not meant for my enjoyment we are using all, all these resources but not paying back the demigods anything so in the purport prabhupad says that one has to do pancha maha yagna every single day where to do yagna in this kali yuga we don't have any spiritual education we are not gone to gurukula we are not in the mode of goodness so only way is to offer the food especially by offering the food all the rina or the debts to the demigods is nullified because by offering the food to the supreme lord who is like a tree and demigods are like different branches the demigods are automatically satisfied but to offer the food to the supreme lord we need to offer with love and devotion and for that we need to chant okay so chanting and offering only will make us lead a sinful uh, sinless life purified life is Mataji, that okay is it okay yeah okay? that's correct sorry is it okay if i can add just one point mata ji yes 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 please mata ji yeah because this question i almost asked and to one maharaj like uh, two decades ago and almost and uh, he said perish the thought you know uh, even before because i was doing isha peshad course then this was i don't know in 2005 or i don't know some long time back and then even before i could because i had the same question with nitender sir prabhu asked and uh, uh, he didn't even want me to tell that krishna is you know having this defect because that is not a good thing to say about the lord so he even before i asked a question he preempted me and said perish the thought uh, uh-huh. 
the answer you know is basically the verse i mean the verse is the answer to all the questions like the couple of questions the two prabhu ji asked isha vashyam idam sarvam uh, yat kincha jagat yam jagat so it's his property so when he is eating butter he is not stealing so when he is you know passing judgment or he is giving a uh, apparent punishment to somebody he is you know in one sense showing mercy and he is the judge like the matter that the cop can go above 100 miles an hour and still be above the law so krishna is omniscient omnipotent and you know all the opulences his opulences he has in full so uh, so when he is doing it's his property and to answer prabhu ji's question we are partaking of you know his property so it would be proper that we offer to him first at least you know uh, symbolically because he's not taking anything he's just visually uh, blessing the food and in turn we are getting rid of our scent you know otherwise we are bound to the karma cycle when we don't offer to him so uh, he's doing us a favor uh, by allowing us to offer it to him so i just thought if i can add these points Uh, thank you mata and sorry to hold you all up sorry i took my uh, wonderful 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 addition mata ji thank you so much that clarifies a lot <laughs> in fact one prabhu was telling if krishna really empties the plate that you offer how many of you will offer <laughs> so nicely you put that you know he is eating with his eyes and giving back the food and taking our sins also a uh, wonderful mata ji thank you uh so if there is no more questions we can end mata ji yes mata ji thank you so much mata ji once again for such a beautiful beautiful class and very nice discussion and we have opened the breakout rooms also that was really very good for interactive session and once again thank you so much mata ji we'll meet again next week for the next verse verse number 2 Uh, please don't forget to join us i would like to offer obeisances to mataji and all the vaishnavas assembled on the call vanche kalpata rupees namo 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 vaishnav rind ki jai shila prabhu aur grace lalita ki mata ji ki tata ji ki jai mat ki jai gaur vand ki jai hari krishna thank you mata ji hari krishna koti koti dhanyawad second session hare krishna